Okay, for number six, this came from the National Medical Admission Test Sample Exam Year 2020. So for quantitative reasoning, this is number six. Now I will use a shortcut here, and that is using the Pascal's triangle um, rule. And I'll just shortcut, I'll write it here. So the Pascal's triangle, if you have a binomial raised to three, you will actually use this. So um, you will use the number one, three, three, one. Again, this came from the concept of Pascal's triangle. Okay, one, two, three, one. This is used for a binomial raised to three. So how do we use it? For example, we have here x plus three raised to three. What we will do is we first write the numbers. So one, three, three, one. And then we write x. So first x. X that is raised to three because my highest degree of power is three. And then it will go lower. X squared then x until we don't have any x anymore and then let's go to y so for y we have here y we will start here so that will be y cube y squared y and if it and we don't have y anymore so that is actually an answer when you expand this this is a shortcut expansion when you use the Pascal's triangle. Let's also apply that to our next one. And that is x minus y raised to 3. So again, you will use the following numbers. 1, 3. Let's undo that. 3, 3, and 1. But this time, I said, let's start with x first. For x, same. We have x cubed. It will go lower, it will be x squared, and lower x until you don't have any x anymore. Let's go to y. But here, please be careful because we will now use the negative y. So we will start here. If you have a negative y raised to 3, that would result to that. And we have a negative y raised to 2. And we have a here a negative y raised to 1. And then we don't have negative. So we can now find the answer. So let's undo that. Let's write it properly. Ayan. So I will just fix this. Um, I will use an eraser. This part, it will result to a negative. A negative y cube. For this part, the next one. This will be, I'll erase this, this will be a positive y squared because any number negative raised to 2 will always be positive. For this part, I will erase this. I will make this, let's undo that. I will make this a negative y. And if you add them according to the problem, you add them, the result will be, this will be 2x cubed. This will be zero. This will be six x y squared. And this will be zero, a positive negative. A positive negative will be zero. So we are left with this. But we don't see this because the answer is in the GCF form or it has the greatest common factor form and that is taking the common factor. The common factor here, is they are both divisible by 2 and 1x. So this will be left with x squared. And this is 3y squared. So the answer is letter A, just like in our answer key. So that's the answer. If you have any questions, you can message me and you can comment below. I'll try my best. If I know the answer, I'll make a PowerPoint for it. I hope this helps.